Simple chick brooder. All right, so we got this uh, Craftsman Hyper Tough, whatever it is. One of them black totes with the yellow lid, sometimes the red. All right, so we're gonna fill this with some tractor supply wood chips. Okay, so we filled the tub uh, probably two inches up with wood chips. That gives them, uh, there's plenty of wood chips there to soak up feces, urine, all that stuff. Um, and now I've got the little brooder light on there. It's just two two by fours. I screw it to the tub. Um, these things can cause fires. So I took these two little two by fours, just cut a chunk of two by four in half, put a screw here, screw there. It's just to keep it from, from getting knocked off. And there's one little screw right there and it'll totally keep the uh, the burning hot light bulb from dropping down onto the wood chips, which is always good. I, well, unless you're looking to start a fire. Uh, if that's the case, I would go about it completely different. But, teach their own. All right, step uh, four, I don't know, uh, of our quick and easy chicken brooder. We got a little basic plastic cheap water. Get that all cleaned up and filled up. <laughs> and then we've got the classic metal uh, chicken feeder. I'm not exactly sure what its actual name is, but I'm sure you've seen one before. Um, typically you'll see a mason jar or something get screwed in right here. It can hold some extra feed. Um, I find personally it kind of gets clogged up and for just a few baby birds, you can put enough food in this thing itself that it'll more than last them a day or so. So we're gonna get those cleaned up real quick, get them filled up, and go put these new birds in this little brooder. So quick little tip here. I uh, didn't have crumbles, I only had pellets. All my birds are older um, and they don't eat the crumbles. Uh, they're fine with the pellets. So I just took a little knife here. It could be anything, a hammer and I'm just breaking it all up. That'll make it easy, easier for these babies to digest it. Also, maybe help get them on crumbles a little faster. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in here, and then I'm also going to gather a little sand. Uh, chickens don't have stomachs. They have a gizzard that helps them digest their food, and they need some grit, sand, rocks in that gizzard. So baby chicks, uh, you know, probably good on the rocks, but uh, a little bit of sand will help get them going. So we're gonna add a little of this quick chick to the water. Um, we ordered some birds earlier in the year. This came with it. Uh, it's, it's electrolytes, vitamins, that kind of stuff for chickens. It's, it's basically like Gatorade for chickens. So for this small of a water, you just gotta put just a little splash of it in there. It'll change the water color just a little bit. You definitely don't want to overdo it. Um, and if you don't have quick chick or something similar to it, uh, apple cider vinegar does a lot of the same stuff. Just a couple little drops of apple cider vinegar in there. You can do either one you want. Uh, I definitely wouldn't do both though. Okay, <clears throat> here we are all set up. Got a little bit of grit in there, a little bit of food. They can just kind of take their choice of what they want. Got their water, got their light. We're ready for chickens. A uh, couple things to note though. This is a little wobbly. And this stuff will tend to, this will tend to get filled with wood chips as they start scratching them. Uh, same with this. Uh, so in the next couple days, I've got like a tray I'll put in here. Uh, this will be fine for the first day or two, but uh, the tray will raise it up, it'll let the wood chips fall through, but it'll keep a nice solid surface for both of these, and uh, it'll prevent them from being able to uh, to, to scratch near it. Uh, I've noticed it really helps keep the feeder and the water a lot cleaner. So, let's add some chicks. We've got our two little chicks here. They hatched last night. Uh, there's about 24 eggs in here. Um, uh, over half of them were sent 
to me by a friend from out of state. Uh, that's two of his birds that hatched. And then I filled it back in a oh, big yawn. Uh, I filled it, the rest of it up with some eggs from my flock. But um, this is our third attempt at trying to hatch eggs or, or, or eggs that were uh, fertilized by Frank, our rooster. And we're pretty sure he's shooting blanks because none of our eggs hatched. We actually had a very low egg hatch percentage here. But I've got two two birds from a buddy back home. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna take my little dude here, see if I can film this. I'm gonna dip his beak in water. And should have drank. Let's give him one more. All right. Ooh, this one's wild. It's from Pueblo, down by the river, eh? So, I've got the heat lamp. One other thing I need to note. I've got the heat lamp set off to one side. Um, that allows them to, uh, if they need to warm up, they can go under it. If they want to cool off, they can come over here. Gives them a little... Uh, climate option versus putting it just like right in the middle um it they don't have as a, a biggest uh, non-heated space to escape to also makes it easier to reach in here as for the rest of these eggs i'll pull the empty shells out that the two hatched from and uh we'll give them another day i don't hear any chirping though so i don't think we're gonna have any more hatch Oh, you never know. We'll see.